Alright, so uh, before we roast our, our mayor, I just want to say that I'm sure deep down he's a good guy. I'm sure. I bet about six feet deep down he becomes an excellent human being. <laughs> Ten feet down is about the perfect depth, I would, I would say, to meet Ted Wheeler at. And if, if in a pinch, maybe just a foot down is good. Uh, we're going to talk a lot of shit about Ted Wheeler. Let's point out his accomplishments, if we may. I think it's safe to say that nobody has done more as a mayor for Portland than Ted Wheeler making us a true sanctuary city for Proud Boys. Nobody has done more <laughs> than Ted Wheeler. I know many of you consider him a disappointment. You're not alone. Ted Wheeler has been disappointing people his entire life. Just ask his rich, timber baron, wealthy Republican family how they feel about their Democrat laughing stock and Tifa Bear son. <laughs> Why do you wonder about his middle name? Tevis. Very well, very uh, little known Gaelic for turtle. See, and the reason that he's named after this animal, the turtle, Ted Wheeler, is because the turtle, many of you don't know this, baby, air breather. Yet for six months, the turtle hibernates in the mud. Surrounded by water, no oxygen in the air, and yet the turtle stays alive because the turtle has special cells in his anus that actually take oxygen out of the water for six months when this air breather is hibernating. This is where the Ted Wheeler part comes in. Ted Wheeler has his head so far up his own ass, there is no way he could still be alive had he not co-opted this incredible turtle ass water breathing technology. <laughs> Bang. If he's not human, he can't be mayor. That's right. Oh! Recall. Put it on the Recall. fucking list. Uh, now you're wondering how white, just how white is Ted Wheeler? Ted Wheeler is so white that when it came time for him to escape the naughty Antifas, and move out of the Pearl. He's so white, the only place he could think of to move was further into the Pearl. <laughs> That's pretty fucking white. Ted Wheeler is so white, he thinks the best basketball player of all time was John Stockton. That's pretty fucking white. Ted Wheeler is so performative that he started calling his teapot his kettle, just so he could feel like a boss again. <laughs> So like anybody, you do a little research about your opponents that you're roasting. So I looked up Ted Wheeler like somebody else. Let's go over this guy's history. Lifelong Republican until it was time for office, right? Then he shifts gears. That's how you know he's a man of integrity right there. Anyway, went to Stanford, got his business degree. Then he went to Columbia, Columbia, got his master's in business. Then he went to Harvard, got his policy, got his policy master's game on. Then he went to work for Copper Trust Money Business. Then he worked for B of A. Then he became the county commissioner, which is all about money. Then he became the state treasurer. More fucking money! If you want to know what Ted Wheeler's about, that's it. Money. His whole life has been about fucking money. The rich white dude likes money. You get it yet? This is what Ted Wheeler is about. Ted Wheeler is so into money when he says, hey, when you move to this country, you speak the language. He's talking about money. <laughs> the only language Ted Wheeler understands. He's so into money, he's going to change the Welcome to Oregon Elk sign to Welcome to Oregon, Californians. <laughs> hey, Ted Wheeler, I have a riddle for you. Uh, if uh, your family uh, buys the last old growth tree, and uh, if there's no more animals of any kind there in the forest, 
to listen as the last Oak Grove Tree Falls doesn't make a noise, Ted Wheeler. Yes, it does. Ted Wheeler. The answer, of course, is who gives a fuck? I'm rich! <laughs> All right, two more here. Why did Ted Wheeler jump out of the huge tree? Why? He heard he would get his integrity back when pigs flew. <laughs> Almost, Ted, you get it back when you land. I highly recommend you try that. And then I tried to figure out one last summation statement I can make about Ted Wheeler. Ted Wheeler is so white. And I searched and I searched and I finally came, came to some kind of conclusion. This is my final summation of Ted Wheeler. Ted Wheeler is so white. He thinks that black people owe him reparations. Why does he think this? Ted Wheeler is so white that he thinks he's owed back royalties on blues music. Because did not the white man provide the very repression that made the blues subsequently possible? That's how fucking white Ted Wheeler is! <laughs> Next time you pick up a fucking pen, all you liberals within sound of my voice, vote the fucker out! <laughs> the rest of us will be smashing windows because that's about money! And that's the only fucking language that Ted Wheeler can fucking understand! So that's Woo! why we break your fucking windows. Round of applause for Amy Um, My name is Eliza, and I use all the pronouns. Um, welcome to this amazing event. Um, I am the director of the recall campaign. We have our tent set up right over here. We are going to recall Ted Wheeler! Yeah! However, we can't do it right now. Boo! Um, we have to wait until July in order to collect signatures to get a recall election. It's very complicated. They do that on purpose because the government doesn't want to be fired. Um, surprise. And so we are calling on all of you to please check out our website. Um, you can donate, you can look at uh, all the different stuff that we're doing, follow all of our social media. Um, and tonight, there is an info session at 7 p.m. that I am hosting. Um, and it's really great. Uh, you learn all about why a recall is an amazing tool of democracy how it's super healthy and puts power back into the people instead of into shitty politicians. Oh yeah. Uh, and yeah, please check it out. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of all I got for you guys. And also check out all of our merch that we have. Um, Night Owl Apparel is providing everything at cost, which is insane. So please check it all out. We got buttons, we got stickers, we got shirts, hats, all that cool stuff. Um, yeah, fuck Ted Wheeler! Fuck Ted Wheeler! Do I want to say anything? I've spent more fucking time in the last four days learning about Ted Wheeler than I have ever wanted to spend in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to know how bad he is? Yeah! He's, do you realize he sucks so bad at what he does now? This motherfucker went to Harvard, he went to Yale, he went to Cambridge, and he still sucks so bad at what he does. <laughs> but I listen, I actually dug really deep. Like, I dug super deep. Do you guys know, straight up, truth. Two years ago, remember when all that shit went down between Patriot Prayer? Ted Wheeler attempted to become a Proud Boy. <laughs> I shit you not. I shit you not. He got to the fourth. He got to the fourth breakfast cereal, and he got stuck. <laughs> they gave him a Charlie horse, and he's going, ah, 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 Apple Jacks. <laughs> Sorry, too late. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was. We need more of that. <laughs> so listen, y'all. I know how much hatred we have for Ted Wheeler. I know right now, if God came to me 
And he said, Dustin, we could go back 40 years and give you a choice. Portland can never have 10 wheelers, but you're gonna have to be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Or you can walk and 10 wheeler exists. You know what I would say? You know how much I hate 10 wheeler for you guys? I would say, sorry, Portland, you're fucked. I'm walking. <laughs> Give it up for Krim! <laughs> Give it up for our host! <laughs> hey, on the count of three, let me hear you say fuck Ted Wheeler! Fuck Ted Wheeler! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Yeah! Wait, hey, do I need Alrad to say it? <laughs> Damn! This has been Dean and our lawful assembly. Get the fuck up. Gas is coming. One, two, three. Fuck this Yo, we're gonna have a good time. I have a story to tell you. And it goes a little something like this. There were three Cheerios at the bottom of the box. Ted, Dan, and Sam. They each wanted to get to the top of the box because that's where the pinnacle of white supremacist leadership is. Oh, sorry, I mean the Cheerio party. <laughs> Ted wanted to go it alone since he can't do teamwork. One day he tried and tried and tried to scale the Cheerio box wall, but kept failing. He implemented his brilliant, most effective solution for every issue that comes his way. He put up yard signs that all said, at least I climbed Mount Everest. Sam was swiping through Grinder when he came across Dan's profile, although he's way out of Sam's age range. Sam gripes to Dan about how if Ted joined them, they would be an unstoppable force to scale the wall and reach power, fame, and fortune. Per uh, excuse me, it's really hard to yell without cracking. <clears throat> per exclusive invitation, Sam, Dan, and Ted met at the Cheerio McMinimins over some tall, frothy glasses of milk. Think of all the underage aides up there, Sam exclaimed, and all the reinforced security from the increased CPB budget. That's Cheerio Police Bureau budget. Thank you. I can that myself. <laughs> all right, all right, Ted succumbed. I'll do this with you too if you promise to get me into the governor's office. No problem, the Cheerio. The, the, thank you. The very next morning. Uh, sorry. The very next morning, the three rose with the sun and strapped on their climbing gear. Are y'all triplets or something? Asked the guide at the base. Uh, we get that all the time, Ted said. At exactly 8 a.m., they started climbing the Cheerio box wall. No more than a quarter into their journey, Ted's phone buzzed uncontrollably. Help, I'm being attacked on Twitter, he shouted as he flailed and whimpered. In the heat of his tantrum, Ted dropped his phone and it tumbled down to the very base where they started. We have to go back. How will I keep in touch with my new hot, totally not paid off GF? <laughs> Ted, Teddy, Davis. The two shook rich little Ted until he stopped crying. Let's go down and get your phone, they cooed. <laughs> the three Cheerios scrambled down the rocks and retrieved the device. I can't be heckled, Ted screamed. <laughs> okay, okay, let's call it a day and try again tomorrow, said Dan. The very next morning, the three rose with the sun and strapped on their climbing gear. Are y'all working in the best interest of the city or just profiting off of our suffering, asked the guide at the base. Ugh, we get that all the time, said Ted. <laughs> At exactly 8 a.m., they started climbing the Cheerio box wall. 
They were climbing and climbing, reaching almost a halfway point when a troll appeared. Oh no. I am the great Antifa. Answer my questions three, or property destruction will plague thee. Step forward, Cheerio with first names doubled. Dan Ryan nervously approached the troll. Yes, he shook. Were you elected fairly? Yes, I even got the majority, looking at Ted. Do you keep your campaign promises? Yes! Wrong! You are banished from this climbing route and must start over. Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! And in a poof, the three Cheerios were transported back to the base where they first started. The very next morning, they rose with the sun and strapped on their climbing gear. Are y'all endangering every Portlander by continuing your political careers and instead should use your exorbitant amounts of wealth to give land back, fund non-police emergency systems, and ensure we get permanent roofs over all of our heads? <laughs> Asked the guide at the base. Thank you. Uh, we get that all the time, said Ted. At exactly 8 a.m., they started climbing the Cheerio box wall. As the three Cheerios scaled the cardboardy terrain, Ted assured the other two, excuse me, the other two, no other obstacles would get in the way. I used $150,000 from my more money, less problems fund to pay off anyone trying to stop us. Hooray, they cheer rio <laughs> the three climbed and climbed, sweating and forming blisters turning into calluses, upwardly failing as their white male privilege rocketed them towards the top. <laughs> their little Cheerio fingers clung to the edge of the box, and they hoisted themselves into the biggest and loudest party they could have ever imagined. They made it! Boo! <laughs> As they entered, they were relieved when they refused to mask up, and no one gave them grief. Boy, I sure am thirsty, Sam said. Yeah, me too, said Ted. Just then, he saw the cutest girl Cheerio. Hey, you look like my ex-wife. <laughs> oh, uh, you look like a war criminal, she retorted. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Where do I get in line for some punch? Slowly backing away, she shouted over the music, Oh, honey, there is no punchline. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And she's been ready to sweat away. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that exciting. Uh, so, hi, my name is Chris Wise. The police shot me in the head one time. Uh, since then, I've had to write a lot of things down. <laughs> so I wrote most of this down. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> my phone will work. iPhones. Am I right? So, uh, as we can all agree, Ted Wheeler sucks, right? <laughs> like a Hoover! <laughs> like a Kirby, man. Get it right. Um, Ted Wheeler sucks hard enough that somebody would like walk up to your door and try and sell you a vacuum about how hard Ted Wheeler sucks. But that is not any of the jokes. Um, I did not grow up in Oregon, so I do not know if this is a shared experience between all of us millennials. But like, who was playing Oregon Trail growing up when the teachers were trying to convince us to like, you had computer time because they weren't. You just weren't gonna figure out how the fuck computer works. Um, so Oregon Trail was a game that we used to have to play for any of you Zoomers. Uh, the basically let you know that white folk, uh, sorry, the, uh, basically let you tell white folk what to do until all of your friends and family got this Jerry. And that is what Ted Whaler does. Uh, he is essentially his M.O. Uh, Edward Tevis Wheeler looks like he cooks exclusively with unsalted butter. Uh, butter that he would never use on his steamed vegetables, just purely steamed vegetables, stop hanging his pussies. Um, Tevis looks like he drank a Mike's Hard Lemonade one time in college before getting wasted and starting a sentence with, I'm not a racist, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, he has since graduated to shitty ITAs and dropping the pre-qualification. 
Uh, Ted Wheeler looks like anthropomorphic mayonnaise. <laughs> Ted Wheeler looks like he regularly eats at Applebee's. <laughs> Ted Wheeler looks lactose intolerant from a distance. Uh, I'm sure that you have all seen the picture of him tear gas, but he actually didn't get touched by himself. That's just the first time he ever tried to smoke a weed. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, the PVB, uh, if you didn't know, has just under a 4% clearance rate for cases. That is, cases that they get sent to the DA, not cases that somebody was actually guilty. If we uh, account for people who are actually guilty, it's actually about 2%, which is ironic because that's also his clearance rate with the final one of ChristianMingle.com. Uh, four farmers only, I don't know what he does. He probably has like a fucking fake black people meat account. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, Tevis looks like what I imagine the creator of the Bop to look like, which is ironic given that's his policy for a mental health intervention. Uh, Tevis has a hard time relating to people because his parents actually named him Edward Tevis Wheeler. Yeah, that's his legal name. My name is Christopher Stephen Wines. How the fuck that guy get a name whiter than me? Uh, <laughs> That man's legal name makes him sound like the villain of a made-for-TV Disney Channel original movie. Which is what's again or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, this looks like the type of man to ride a police force with, like, both of his legs on one side. <laughs> not the correct way to ride a horse, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tavis makes his DJ girlfriend cut the crust off his sandwiches. That's not a joke, that's just a fact. I'm not here to kink shame, but, like... Um, Ted Wheeler's persona is a pigeon. Uh, Tevis is effectively what we would have gotten if we had all got together and voted in a warm can of Old English for mayor. Tevis is scared of the numbers. Once again, not a joke, just a fact. Um, the joke is also because he's uh, scared of the number of lawsuits against the PVP, but somehow not the number of offices that are somehow functionally illiterate since they can't read a fucking TRO. Oh. If you don't know what that is, it's a temporary restraining order that says that they're not allowed to shoot me or any of our fantastic press members. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, I'm marrying that guy. Uh, <laughs> Ted Wheeler is the inspiration for the joke that you may or may not have heard me say where PVP strictly has missionary sex in the dark, through a hole in the sheet, like God intended, except he's dating a DJ now, so there's probably some sick purple LED lights underneath his bed. <laughs> I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts that that nigga has a fucking Lightning McQueen race car bed that he's just fucking his DJ girlfriend on in missionary position through a hole in the sheet with the lights on. Um, As God intended! As God intended! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ted Wheeler regularly eats unflavored rice cakes on conference calls. Nasty. Um, <laughs> the last joke I have written is just Ted Wheeler is the fucking Goblin King. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> Answer his riddles three and you won't be an arrestee. I don't know. I don't know what he does. I don't know what this man does in his regular life. Just, he goes home watches Minecraft tutorials for six hours, <laughs> fucking thinks about how confusing black people are with our fucking fantastic hair and propension to making art better. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't, like it's, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck this dude got. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm Chris Wise. Uh, that's probably my time. There's, there's, we've got a couple people for an open mic. Um, <laughs> Once again, my name is Creme I'm your host because I'm the only black person who hasn't been canceled. Uh, we're just doing a lot of talk about different, uh, about Ted Wheeler having a lot of money. And I want to put that to bed right now. Ted Wheeler's worth $1.5 million. I did some research today. Here's five people who are worth more than Ted Wheeler. David Blaine, Paula Abdul, Flava Flav, the mayor of Seattle, and Snooki. So that's not really impressive to me. It's not really impressive to me. Uh, the next guest we have is somehow the Elrad 2021 baby. What's going on here? What do I do? I'm good? All right.
Rod's here. This is the DJ L. Rad with the Portland Police Bureau. This assembly has been declared a roast. Prepare for deployment of spicy burns about Ted Wheeler. Ted Wheeler is so white, he makes Mitt Romney seem like Eminem. Ted Wheeler used to be a Republican. He still is, but he used to be too. I heard Ted got a girlfriend recently. These are three dates I'd rather have before I went out with Ted Wheeler. I would rather see the Indy 500 with Brent Taylor. I would rather drink tea with Andy Mel forever. I would rather be alone in the woods with Alan Swinney and it's dark and rainy and windy and very cold where you only have one single day and he just looks so warm. Thank you. Now it's time for DJ Elrad after hours. Ted Wheeler is 58 years old and can't find a clitoris. That's the whole joke. Fuck you, Ted. That was DJ Elrad after hours. Finally, we know you're supposed to say something nice about Ted at the end, so here goes. At least he keeps traveling back in time from the future to try and fix his fucked up city. How else do you think we got Dan Ryan and Sam Adams? Now disperse to the north and the west. Crisis. So I wrote what I am calling the Tevistential Crisis. It's weird, as it should be. So, <clears throat> tear gas Teddy isn't ready for what's steady. Ain't getting heady. Probably got the COVID. His mama ain't got no bit of the shit that she was fucking. But wait, hold, hold on. No one wants to know about that conception. Edward Tevis Wheeler hits only misdirection. Leading Nazis, fascists up our streets, he owns nothing, that white man is a thief. Land back, fuck off, kicking Tevis out faster than last year's tax write-off. <laughs> Tevis wonders to himself, is daddy really daddy, or is he just the man who pays for boarding school? Why Papa Mustard Porch not substitute absent love, but wait, what the fuck, no one cares about that white man's problem. Those rancid affairs, Edward Tevis Wheeler. What is a Tevis? Is a Tevis a queef mixed with a fart that never really happened? Is that what should have happened to this person, whom I cannot dare but call a man, but what is a man if not a Tevis? No, that doesn't sound right. I think that's wrong. A Tevis does as a Tevis is, and a Tevis tear gasses an entire town for the sake of fascist fun. But what is fun? And who is this Tevis? And why must we know his name? Edward Tevis Wheeler is a despicable human being that deserves every ounce of hatred you have for him. And much, much more. Oh, Teddy, Teddy Bear, my Teddy rocks thin. Little Edward Tevis Wheeler. <laughs> what is there to say that has not been said about you? You not cunt looking unable to, sorry, that was offensive to women and I've been asked not to say that. <laughs> so why would a woman touch him? It's beyond me that DJ he's fucking, supposed DJ the blonde one who pushes buttons. Why would you stoop so low as to allow someone so disgusting to touch you? much less pretend to go down on you because does not know how to please anyone, even himself, that's obvious. No shoot! Yo, you trying to rock out with me, Dustin? Y'all want to see Dustin up here rocking out? What up, Portland? Dedicated to Ted Wheeler, you know what I mean? It's all good vibes around here, baby.
just pulled up to the roast sash. How to leave work, cause I'm trying to get a quick snack. Hey, I heard they giving out a big batch. And I like it spicy when they hit me with the tear gas. Yeah, hit me with your best shot one more time. They throwing out shit from 2009. No deodorant, but this that old spice with that vintage taste. In my city, there's some Nazis. But Dustin, they were uninvited. We just trying to protest. They declared this shit a riot. That's just an excuse for them to go and get violent. I hear these motherfuckers yelling shit over the siren. This is the federal protective services. And we're full of shit. Cause I'm past the red. Your lawyer is a little bitch. Fingers up, my fingers up. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Ted. Hey, girl, we don't want you as a mayor anymore. So you can tell Katrina that I could get her wet like hey. And I'm not being inappropriate I'm just trying to take the power back on some local shit They're corrupt, let's expose this shit I'm just doing what the fuck I can as a vocalist, you know it is I'm shoes and I'm taking the stand Fuck Sam Wheeler, I'm not shaking the sand That's real shit, it's time we go and fucking unite Someone call Sam Wheeler, tell him I wanna fight Cause enough is enough with the bullshit corruption Corrupt politicians don't have our best interest Fuck the whole system When you see Sam Wheeler, baby, this is what we say Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you Sam, hands up, John, I need to see those fingers Don't you guys play anymore Okay, folks, as uh, many times I've been to city council, it's obvious who Ted Wheeler, you know, uh, priority is that, you know, when these things get back to normal, he's going to put, you know, all this money in restoring all of these banks and to rebuild, rebuild the, you know, the downtown, you know, uh, 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 court uh, back again. Uh, in in and in, in, in the rich and the wealthy, those are the only people he cares that are, are putting money in his up up his uh his 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 pocket. And folks, yo, know, I'm waiting for that day when we have when when they open city hall to, to public communications. That day, when that day comes, we are going to overload. We are going to overload city hall. Uh, from inside to out, y'all, and, and shake, uh, shake City Hall, Hall down to the ground. Folks, we, yeah, yeah. Folks, folks, we, we have the power, you know, we can gather in tons of people and raise a big, uh, and, and raise a big, large march and a big uh, ruckus, you know, uh, and to make Ted Wheeler's, uh, uh, you know, life uh, really um, 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 miserable. We don't, we don't need a Donald Trump or an issue. We we have the power to gather in numbers just to 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 to, to make shit for Ted Wheeler uh, for the next four years of his term. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck Ted Wheeler! Fuck Ted Wheeler! Fuck Ted Wheeler!
He's disgusting. Abusive. Period. What? Every time you think of him, you think of him. I just bring up. <laughs>
Get up. Get up. See what I already know. You ready? All right. All right. This is going to be our ending for tonight. Thank you for coming out. I'm going to show this to what we do to fucking cop and what we do to white supremacists and what we do to brown boys. Show. And what we